Sickle cell disease is the most commonly inherited blood disorder in the United States. Cases are highest among African Americans, impacting one in 365 births. Dr. Gina Lynam Walker is the Associate Medical Director of Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan. She is here now to talk more about it. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. First off, can you explain what is sickle cell disease? <laughs> Well, sickle cell disease, as you mentioned, is uh, the most commonly inherited blood disorder in the United States, but it does impact uh, people worldwide. It's a disease that impacts uh, thousands of people in the United States of uh, sub-Saharan uh, black ancestry. And it's a disease that affects the red blood cell. And what happens is the, the red cell becomes misshapen, and because it's misshapen, it will get stuck in, in small blood vessels, and that's where it can cause problems. One out of 13 African-American babies born in the U.S. actually carry the gene, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they will get sick. Well, uh, yes, there's... Uh, in order to uh, get what's called sickle cell anemia, mm -hmm. you have to get the gene from both parents. And uh, usually that will cause uh, more of a problem than if you have the trait. Um, so you can have the trait, but not necessarily the disease. But the disease means that you've gotten the trait from both parents, and that's when you might run into trouble. Now, it's usually uh, picked up uh, when you're born through screening, at least in the United States, we do screening tests when babies are born and the babies are checked for sickle cell anemia. So that way you can pick it up early and start treatment early. So it's important that all um, women who are pregnant know that. And what kinds of problems do people who have sickle cell disease face? What kinds of things will they have to deal with? Sure, because those uh, those red blood cells get stuck in the capillaries or the small blood vessels unless oxygen is carried. Uh, painful um, crisis may occur. Uh, you can get something called acute uh, chest syndrome, which is um, uh, can be very painful, can develop pneumonia because of that. Other things that you can develop would be limb ischemia, where you're not getting blood flow to the limbs. Um, and you can also develop stroke. So there are uh, many different, very serious things that can come about because of this illness. So it is something to take seriously, but due to modern medicine, uh, people with the uh, disease are living longer lives. Yeah, what kinds of treatments are available now? Yes, um, uh, the most common treatment would be a medication called hydroxyurea, and that's usually given for people who have three or more pain crises per year. So that's a, an important drug to know. Uh, there are also new drugs that are coming about. Uh, there's something called L-glutamine, which is a new uh, drug that's come about, and um, that can help people with pain crises. Another thing that may be a cure would be a stem cell trans transplant or bone marrow transplant, but that's not for everybody. Uh, so it's important to talk to your physician about treatment options. Yeah, and stay on top of it. Okay, good. Well, great information. Thank you so much for joining us today. Really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thanks for having me.